Welcome back to Light Marks Studios. My name is Charles Toy, and this is the I Am Studio, the studio in which I love to film these videos, uh, which is hopefully uplifting and motivational to your side. This day, or this video, or this morning, or this evening, or whenever you choose to tune into this, watch this video, stream it on whatever device you want. I want to address something very serious today and it's not pertaining to professional audio, it's not pertaining to radio or anything like that, but it's something that is very relevant in the world that we live in today. And that is the stigma of mental illness. The fact that we've been facing mental illness and people think that it's something that should not be talked about, something that we should not share with other people, that we're struggling with it. And that's exactly that that I want to address in three minutes this morning. I myself suffer from depression often. Uh, I am on medication for depression, for antidepressants, very regularly in my life. And when I say regularly, I mean I've been on it for like four or five times in my life. And the episodes last for about a year. My depression, the one that I suffer with, means that I can either fall into insomnia or hypersomnia. Meaning I don't sleep at all or I sleep all the time. Or I don't eat at all or I eat every single thing that I can lay my hands on. The reason I'm sharing this with you is the fact that I want you to feel empowered to reach out to someone who can assist you if you feel this way. Now what is depression? What is depression different than being sad or being down or whatever? It's very similar to being sad or down. However, the time and the length of it differs. Sad, you're usually sad for a day. If something sad happened and you're not sad, uh, then you're in denial, which is a totally something different. But it is still something that should be addressed. But if you're sad for four weeks, for instance, or down for like two, week, two three weeks constantly, that actually is depression. If you don't see yourself getting through your day, that's depression. If you don't see or if you don't have energy to do anything, uh, you don't see the end of the day and you're not excited about anything, that is depression. My trigger that I usually know that I should get myself checked out is when I know I'm not excited about anything. And when I sit back and I think like, listen, life is going well, everything's going awesome, but I'm not excited. I don't have a future hope. Even though stuff in the future is coming that's going to be exciting, December holidays is around the corner, Christmas is coming up, I just feel I'm not excited about it. For instance, I'm using this as an example now. For instance, I'm not excited about it. I'm not going on leave. I'm not, or I'm not, rather, I'm not excited about going on leave. I'm not excited about uh, going to the beach or going to wherever. Then I know I've got depression and I need to reach out. Now, what do you do if you've got depression? two things. Firstly, go see someone that can actually counsel you. Be that your pastor, your minister, whoever. A youth worker at your school perhaps. Uh, someone counseling at the, the place where you work, whatever. Go reach out to someone. Someone that you can have a trusting relationship with. And see if there's not perhaps a trigger in your life that's actually triggering it. Say for instance you're, you, you've lost a loved one, uh, they've passed on can be a cause of depression. Uh, my first epi ever episode was caused by that. So it can be a cause of depression. If you're not depressed or sad from it, again, not depressed, if you're not sad from it, that's denial and that's something that should also be checked out. Uh, so speak to someone. If there's something in your life that's causing the depression, trained counselors can sniff that out and point it out to you and show you how to deal with it. It's important to speak up. The second reason or the second thing that you should do then is if a trained counselor can't help you, just go see a doctor, a general practitioner. 99% of the time they can actually identify uh, whether there's something medically wrong with you. My, in my personal uh, life, in my, my body for instance, just doesn't produce enough serotonin. Uh, serotonin is the thing that is the hormone that's been produced by your body when you experience joy. When you eat chocolate, uh, for instance, chocolate is a natural form of serotonin, you feel better. If you drink coffee, you feel better. My body just does not produce serotonin. Uh, it's a hormone thing. Hormone indifference or whatever they want to call it. So I need to drink something that will help my body produce serotonin. That's my antidepressants. The moment I start drinking it, I actually start feeling better. That's the second type of depression. That's medical depression. 
You need to speak out. There's no need for you to suffer in silence with this, especially with the season coming up. The festive season, people that are single, people that's lost loved ones, very often fall into depression through this season. And that's why I'm making this video now. I believe it's very timely for us to speak about it. And I trust that you will reach out to someone. If you feel the need to reach out to us, to me personally, with regards to my testimony, send an inbox to I Am Youth Movement on Facebook. Send me a, send an inbox on this channel. Drop a comment down below. I know you can still remain anonymous. Send a comment down below and I will reach out to you. And we can share so that we can walk this walk. I've been through this. I've seen this movie. I would love to help you with your depression. So that's that for this week's Lights, Mics and Studios. I've trusted it's stirred in your spirit something. Uh, stirred in your spirit the fact that you need to speak out. And there's no need for you to suffer in silence. Looking forward to seeing you again next week.